Well today I've brought you to Carnarvon and this Carnarvon Castle site of the investiture of the current Prince of Wales, Charles and one of the perhaps the most beautiful of all the castles in North Wales I'll get you in closer The castle itself occupies a, a very strategic place in North Wales and at, opposite the Innis Morn, otherwise known as the Isle of Anglesey on which there's yet another castle called Beaumaris but that will be the subject of another visit And here, just below the castle, is a little marina. And on a day like today, it's pretty gorgeous. With the Welsh flag and the Union flag lying proudly from the tower. rather like Conway the uh, castle makes up a fairly large part of the town of Carnarvon and I'm just making my way up to the castle entrance and the information as you see the uh, the organization that uh, looks after the castle has built this little viewing platform there Carnarvon is a really pretty city Lots of souvenir shops and that's a craft shop uh, selling Welsh goods and the predominant language this side of Wales is Welsh they, they, most people here speak Welsh apart from the tourists of course and uh, I'm going to take you in through here so there's the tariff I think it's worth it to show my friends around shall we? let's do it here I am at the entrance. Let's go and see what uh, what Carnarvon Castle has to offer. Yes, thank you. Thank you. Yes, well. Um, uh, 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 <laughs> well, I'm over sixty, so I got the discount. Um, and it cost me £7.50 How beautiful is that? Look at this manicured lawn <laughs> I'll just take you in a circular vista and then we'll walk the walls You can really feel the history.
again it's built in the style of a courtyard castle um, with thick outer walls which to the technology of the day would have been virtually impenetrable it's in much better condition than Frithland indeed all the other castles in, in Wales really because it's um, it's kept as such an important place due to its very strong road connections These arrow slits are extremely interesting because the archer, one archer, can command two views from one position. So you can see how smart that technology is and a similar commanding view is from an archer stood in the position I am right now so there you see one archer covering two arcs and the same on these slits of course each slit itself could be manned by an archer but you can see the depth of the slits here Incredible. This beautiful old door. How lovely is that? It's awesome. It's a bit dark in there. I don't know if we'll adjust. Let's see if we do. Probably not. It's quite a feeling. Um, walking on steps this ancient. And as you see the stone stairway curves on up there, I'll take you up there in a while. This window looking out onto the city. Another arrow slit. I know, it goes way back there, but it does end. It does eventually, <laughs> does it? <laughs> so what we... What we see here are archer slits facing inwards of course let's just say they plan for all the eventualities cavernous down towards the marina that way again and the view there back to the main entrance 
there are tour groups you can join where they'll give you the full history of the castle. But if you look in the uh, description below, there will be links for those who are interested. And there'll be more about the history of the castles of Wales. I'm uh, holding on to this because I'm climbing some very rickety staircase. Well, <laughs> I'm trying to show you what I'm arriving at at each section. I'm going up these again. And this opens out onto some battlements. And these battlements were designed before health and safety came along. So the metal railings were added as an afterthought. I think that sign says, mind your head, in every language. This is the granary tower. Wow. I think we're actually above the entrance, yeah. So this leaded roof is the one over the entrance hall. And showing you the battlements above. There's an awful lot more to explore than that through then. And there's a beautiful view going back and showing the Cambrian Mountains in the distance. It's really beautiful. Totally stunning. I come here now and again but the the view never fails to take my breath away. More and more battle stations. Of course you can see by the uh, the holes up there they would have supported beams again for what we're looking now these would have been probably state rooms of some kind this part of them at least is now in ruin Any of my friends who come to Wales, I promise I will bring you here. Because this has to be done, doesn't it? This has to be seen first hand. Because I, as much as I enjoy the filming, I don't think I can quite capture the majesty of it all, really. And you'll see the... Uh, predominant roofing material in 
Wales indeed this part of Wales for sure is slate is blue slate because it is mined in North Wales and there is an awful lot of it and those of you who are vigilant will have noticed my um, backyard is laid to slate chip uh, for the same reason blue slate it keeps the weeds down and it's a rather attractive low management garden really sorry at the breaks in my narration but there's a lot to take in let's go down here let's see what's in this wonderful place Wow, a junction, so I can go up or I can go round. Let's go, let's follow the light and then go up later. what that was some kind of fireplace perhaps ingle nut fireplace and it looks like we've come to the end of the road at this level um, but again that's looking out to the other side of the marina and looking across to the Isle of Anglesey on that side with Attractive sloop there, navigating his way up the channel. Oh look, some kind of boat race on. How about that? You saw it here first, folks. Wow. Let's see if we can get in on that one. Impressive. He's going at right old pelt. Awesome. <laughs> well, that was an unexpected uh, turn of events. So let's head back to where that other spiral staircase was. There we go. I think that's the way I came down. And this. <laughs> amazing construction is the spiral staircase so i'm gonna to have to hang on to the rope so if the camera gets a bit shaky this is exceedingly steep and not very easy to navigate but for you my viewers i will do it I certainly wouldn't have liked to have been a medieval warrior trying to attack this place. And there's more. Whew, if we go any higher, I'll need an ice axe and some crampons. Well, I think I made it, boys and girls. Some fancy racer. Well, that's an added bonus. We weren't expecting that. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> Where are you guys from? Holland. You're from Holland? Oh, yeah. welcome. Yeah. Welcome, as I should say. Welcome, yeah. 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 You're familiar with the Dutch uh, language? Uh, a bit. Only a little. <laughs> Just a little. <laughs> okay. This nice couple are from Holland. Yeah. Whereabouts in Holland are you from? We're from the south in Holland. He's wearing the orange, you see? Yeah. Got to wear hot orange for the Netherlands. Netherlands. 
and better view of the uh, boat race. That's looking at the entrance way I walked in. And then up and over the walls and into a little bit of the courtyard. I've got to watch my step here because it's like just plummets down this hole. Display of raw power on the water. Incredible. Dropping down another level. As you see, the steps are really treacherous. But I've got to do it because it's exciting. What was it I said in my last uh, my video about Hridland? It was you have to cross some sort of drawbridge. But I've never been on a drawbridge that was actually inside a castle before. So I'm assuming that lip would have been the level of a floor and this would be some sort of again some ingle nook fireplace for a massive stateroom well i'm 60 years old but the 13 year old boy in me has decided that i've got to go to that bit because inside every man there's a 13 year old boy really trying to get out <laughs> and that's the truth <laughs> Edward, <laughs> King Edward. What's that? Uh, My YouTube, yeah. yeah uh, okay, mate. <laughs> Where are you from, sir? Spain, Spain. You're from Spain. Oh, welcome. Are you, are you from? Benvenuto. Uh, ah, thank you, thank you. Are you from uh, England? Yeah, I'm from I'm from England, but I live in in North Wales. Ah, all right. Yeah, yeah. It's beautiful, isn't it? It's beautiful. Yeah. Beautiful day. Yeah. <laughs> Spain is also beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Have a good day. Thank you. Cheers. Have a good holiday. Wow. What have we come across in here? That's pretty good. It's called The Life of Eleanor. So it's a tribute to Queen Eleanor, wife of Edward I. So I'm sure there's plenty of online resources that can tell you all about that lady's life. So, uh, as I said before, every castle needs an independent source of water. And here would have been the castle well and you can see it drops down it's now full of things that you won't want to drink probably wasn't back then either but you can see this is covered by this rather ornate wrought iron grating and again at the top would have been some sort of winding mechanism rather like this and drawing up water and it would seem there's some holes where perhaps the winding mechanism would have been installed. I don't know what that is. See what these cannon are all about. Tell they're not captured cannon because they're just too British.
George the Fourth. So Georgian in the late Georgian period. Sorry about the noise, but the wind is really blowing here. A heart-shaped lock. I think every girl growing up dreams of uh, being a princess in a castle with a heart-shaped lock on the door. Game of crowns, there you go. And this rather beautiful model gives you some idea of the layout of this magnificent castle. And this is the model is how it would have been laid out for the investiture of the Prince of Wales in 1969. This goes back to the 1911 investiture of Prince Edward, who later became a king and a king who abdicated because of his love for a beautiful American socialite known as Wallace Simpson. I think that's rather fitting. A Welsh throne made of slate. <laughs> so the king's in red on the Welsh side. And the white knights in this picture are the kings of England. It all looks very grand, but to me they're just a bunch of psychopathic gangsters. About the Eagle Tower. And I'm not going to climb to the top of that, boys and girls. If you want to see that, you're going to have to come over here and come with me. Because that's a steep climb. Some beautiful hangings and tapestries. And look at that beautiful thing. £123 for that. Very beautiful. Some rather nice Celtic jewellery. <laughs> That's one of my favourite symbols. It is the uh, Tree of Life, Plenaboid. Oh, and that dragonfly. That's rather nice, huh? 
and there's the um, that's the famous Welsh whisky Pendelin and as you see it commands a fairly hefty price tag and slate features rather nicely there's a cheese board and some nice kutch means to cuddle carry out beloved coffee I think that's self-explanatory and tea Spelt T E, the Welsh way. And these are uh, traditional Welsh love spoons. And the tr tradition had it that uh, a young lad would carve one of these rather beautiful and ornate spoons for his his <coughs> beloved. And some of them, like this one, had a built-in rattle, and that on the inside would have been literally carved from from the wood itself. I'm not sure I'm showing that very well, but there you go, they're not very pretty. Well love spoons. And these delightful little cakes are Welsh griddle cakes, known as Welsh cakes. A fairly simple batter is dropped on a on a griddle and then they're just dusted with um, icing with sugar of some sort very popular I don't think my brother will forgive me if he sees these on the film and I didn't buy him some but because he's supposed to be losing weight I'll only buy him them, not the big one so that's the tour of the castle done. Um, shall we go and look at Carnarvon? Yeah? I thought you wanted to. Let's do it. I'll just take you up to the square. I just did a small feature on a, a lovely little cafe, but the owners didn't want me to publish it. I rule for all, I fight for all, I pray for all, I pay for all. <laughs> Salvation, education, starvation and ruination. Bell Tower Cafe, Osteria, which is a Tuscan restaurant. Oh, no, no, I, I, you can come with us if you want. It's okay, you know? Are you the one? You got that? You can see what you mean, the tail's coming. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, cheesecake heaven. I know. Oh dear. Oh. <laughs> Dime bar cheesecake. I, I, can I have one of them blackberry ones, please? And, um. Small one? Yes, please. And a cookies and cream. Yeah. 
awesome. Cheesecake is one of my guilty secrets. Oh, there you go. Yeah. So that's the cheesecake man. I'll give you a close-up of that when they get home. It's a really nice atmosphere around, sort of almost like a festival atmosphere. Clotted cream fudge. Oh, Welsh mint cake. That's like sugar with mint in it. This statue is dedicated to the memory of uh, David Lloyd George, who was a Prime Minister. Of England, uh, sorry, he was the Prime Minister of Great Britain, the United Kingdom. And he was an MP for Carnarvon Boroughs and Constable of Carnarvon Castle. So there you go. So beyond the main castle, which is the bit that we looked at here, uh, rather like in Conway, the castle extends all around the castle walls, all around the, the city. Uh, most of them have fallen to ruin now, but um, I'm rather pleased that they've kept the main castle in such remarkable condition for its age. Harbour Officers 1840. <laughs> That's probably where the Harbour Master would have sat. And there's a last view. Of the wonderful Carnarvon Castle. If you have enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you would like to follow my channel, please subscribe and be sure to click the bell icon to receive notification of all my upcoming videos. Thanks for watching.